Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. <laughs> hey there. How's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> around. Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? You see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Let's go. No! I guess they didn't need the money. <laughs> the only thing funnier than watching you try to buy your way out of that situation is seeing your money go to waste. I got a smile out of you. Worth every penny. You're a piece of work, Conrad. I'm not all work, I'm a little play, too. Are you trying to flirt with me? Is it working? I don't even know what it is. Well. When you think of something, I'll just be over here taking in the view, flirting up a storm. Hashtag wink. 
Okay, I think they're on their way back up. And I was getting used to it just being you and me. We need to light the grill. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me. You can call me Grill Capitan. You may light the grill, but I will never call you that. Ah, <sighs> uh, damn, Fliss, I I'm sorry. You know you can think before you do something stupid, right? It's an option. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. <sighs> if only she felt the same. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. <laughs>